Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing an entry level pen from Sailor. It is this pen, it is the Sailor Prophet Junior and this particular version uh, is called like the Swan uh, and it's because it's got swans on it and this comes from this little series of these that come packaged like this. I've, obviously I've taken it out with the pen and the cap and a converter and a little 10 mil bottle of ink. Uh, and it comes bundled up uh, in this set uh, with Sailor Prophet Junior plus 10, which is the 10 mil of ink. Uh, and it's obviously very clearly primarily designed for the Japanese market with uh, a lot of the uh, information on the packet and everything being in Japanese as made in Japan. Sailor being one of the leading uh, brands of Japanese fountain pens on the market. Um, so, yes, this is the... Sailor Prophet Junior, which if you're familiar with the uh, Sailor Compass, you will be familiar with this pen. They are, if not the same pen, incredibly similar and come in at a roughly a similar kind of price point. Now, I'm going to be talking about this set, not the Compass or not the pen on it, the Prophet Junior on its own, the set uh, in terms of pricing and things like that. It's a entry level Sailor pen, as I said, uh, with a steel nib. Uh, the nib, this is a, it's described online as a fine medium. It's labeled as a fine and it's quite nice. Uh, and I think it's nice that it comes with a bottle of ink and all of those kinds of things in this set as well. The top of the pen is the uh, domed cap there and the clip is on a little band there that runs around and it's a nice simple steel clip. The cap swells out and then we reach this sort of cap band uh, and then the body of the pen tapers away uh, to this little dome on the end which is a plug which means that you might not want to uh, eyedropper this pen it is primarily a cartridge converter pen proprietary cartridges and converters from sailor but it is provided with a, a converter which is awesome um, so it unscrews uh, in just over two turns which is fine by me it's nice and secure uh, and the threads are very very smooth and there's no real noticeable step down the section uh, is rather uh, kind of short after the threads and sort of tapers down to a little lip and then we get that steel nib of course uh, with the little compass uh, not compass uh, anchor sorry on the uh, nib there now uh, this is a as I said it's a steel nib but it uh, it writes very, very well. We'll see that in a second. Uh, and as I said, it is a cartridge converter pen. It comes with a converter. The threads undo that. And the converter that is provided has the, the blue end. Now, Sailor have a range of converters that actually um, that match a range of the colors of the pens that are available. So uh, particularly with the compass, you can get a matching converter. It's really nice. It's very simple. This is a great uh, entry level sort of pen from Sailor. It's, it's reasonably well constructed. Sailor don't do things by halves. It's not in the same quality as some of their higher end pens, which we'll be looking at a couple of comparisons in just a second. Uh, but it is a nice entry level pen. Uh, and I think um, good for young writers as well. I think some, like this set comes with a swimmer, a person swimming, the swan and a polar bear, and they match three different ink colors. There's a sort of like a, a rosy orange and then a sort of a tealy green as well as this blue. Now the ink in question is, as I said, it comes in this little 10 mil bottle and it just says sailor, it's got a picture of a swan and then it has this little 840 on the top there. Now, Sailor Studio inks have numbers, and the number 840 is a very similar match to this ink. So, in my, I, I can't say they are exactly the same ink, uh, but I am saying this is a, probably, um, it's, a, it's a good match to that 840. It's a right, really interesting light blue, well not light blue, lightly dusty kind of muted blue with some nice depth to it, a little bit of sheen. Uh, there. I'm not sure if that's being picked up, but it's a really solid ink. It's beautiful. It performs relatively well. I'm not doing a review of the ink. I'm just showing the ink because it's part of the set. The, this review is of the pen, uh, but it performs well. It looks nice uh, and it works very nicely in this particular pen. Let's do a size comparison now of the Sailor Prophet Junior with the Lamy Safari. You can see it is a slightly smaller pen. It's about half a centimeter shorter uh, and it, but it, I think it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a small pen in the hand, particularly when it's posted, uh, but it is slightly smaller here than the Lamy Safari. Uncapped, it is considerably smaller. Now, for most people in this uncapped length, uh, it will probably be too small to use, but if it is aimed at a younger market, I think this is about right. Uh, it's a good sort of size for smaller hands, perhaps. 
Post-it is how I prefer to write with this pen, and it comes out at a decent length. Uh, it's much smaller than the Safari, but it does come at a decent length. I think it actually feels quite nice in the hand. Another pen I quickly wanted to show it in comparison to was the, this is the uh, 1911 Standard from Sailor. Um, it's actually um, one of the more higher end pens, I guess you could say, uh, but you can see there's a lot in common here. It's got a similar kind of length, maybe just a touch smaller. The nib sort of protrudes around the same sort of length. It's a, this is a 14 karat gold nib as opposed to the steel nib, of course, but the sections are a similar width, the bodies are a similar size. It's a little longer, but they are, a, they are definitely a related pen. Uh, and if we see them unposted here together, uh, you see that they are really quite similar in length. Just it doesn't put the 1911 doesn't post quite as deep, so it makes it just a little bit bigger in the hand. Let's talk about the dimensions of the pen now. So uncapped or capped, sorry, it's 135 millimeters. Uncapped, it's 115. So it loses two centimeters of length in the uncapping. And yeah, it just sort of sits just, it's about as small as I would go myself. Uh, and certainly for short writing sessions or note taking, that would be fine. Uh, posted, it's 146, which is a very comfortable, very nice length in the hand, in my opinion. The grip section goes from nine to uh, 10 millimeters, which is just on the smaller side, but comfortable nonetheless. And the pen weighs 16 and a half grams, 10 and a half in the body and six in the cap. So while you are putting a you know, a decent percentage of the pen's weight on the back of, on the, back of the pen, because it sits low in your hand, uh, you actually don't feel the weight going back at all. It still feels very comfortable and the balance is quite good. Time for a writing sample now and I will write with it posted. Uh, we have the Sailor Profit Junior. I'll just label this as Swan. So that's the uh, particular model of this version. Uh, and the ink in this is Sailor. I'm just gonna I'm gonna say just for the sake of this uh, video's uh, sake uh, that it's eight number eight forty. Um, I can't imagine why they would make an ink, another ink, and label it with that number if it's not that ink. So I couldn't find that information anywhere. So maybe you, my lovely viewers, could uh, let me know. Let's uh, do some writing. I should have said it's a fine medium, now, depending on where you look, some say fine, some say medium, uh, and steel nib. Uh, I'm not a snob when it comes to steel nibs, I don't mind them. I think uh, gold nibs or steel nibs can both be wonderful. Um, and this one I think is quite nice. There's a little bit of feedback on it. But we are still talking Sailor, and Sailor do have pretty decent quality control uh, on, their, um, on their stuff. Reverse writing. It's not the most, um, it's pretty smooth, but it's pretty dry. And in terms of wetness in general, um, I actually think it actually does a pretty darn good job. For a fine nib, steel nib, uh, it, I think it does a really nice job actually. It is stiff. Uh, you are not gonna get line variation out of this at all. You do put a tiny bit more ink down on the page, but that is just because you are like pressing a little harder. Um, so, fast writing. Like, there's nothing like that was me lifting it up off the page incorrectly. It holds up. It, the flow is good. There's no issues with ink saturate, uh, you know, saturation or flow or starvation or anything like that. It's a really nice writer. Uh, so, and particularly at this price point, which we'll get into in just a second, the Sailor Profit Junior being a steel nib pen, this is a nice way to get into the Sailor brand. My, I've got, as well as the uh, 1911 standard, I also have a uh, Pro Gear, and this is with the medium, uh, hard medium nib, 21 karat gold. It is a superb pen, a superb writer. Both of these are, this is, the 1911 has the, uh, the music nib on it, which uh, is a beast of a nib, actually, really. It lays down a huge amount of ink. Um, and they are wonderful, wonderful writers. They're a little bit more generous than this Sailor Prophet Junior, but as an entry into the brand, 
I think they make a very good argument uh, for looking at Sailor if you are not familiar with them already. So what are the pros and cons? Well, I'm gonna talk the con of this pen. Uh, I can't find a con in terms of how it writes or how it looks or, um, you know, the little swan motif isn't going to be for everybody and certainly not something that I would have in my everyday sort of collection. The only con I have are the converters from Sailor. Now, this would hold a Sailor cartridge, no issue whatsoever. And my preferred method of filling Sailor pens is by refilling the cartridges because the Sailor converters, I've had more Sailor converters fail than any other brand. Um, because I use my, uh, particularly my Pro Gear quite a lot, um, I have gone through three converters that just, they just end up failing in some way. You either get ink behind the valve or the valve stops working properly or, um, you know, there's seal issues, things like that. Um, it, which is such a shame because the Sailor pens are absolutely wonderful. Um, and the same goes here. So I've put the converter in because it came with it um, and I will use that until it stops working. Um, or I will move this converter into one of, into my Pro Gear perhaps if it's, it turns out to be a, a nice one. Um, only time will tell with that, but the, the converters in general aren't the best from Sailor. I'll talk about the price here because it's actually one of the pros. This set, so the uh, set that comes with in this nice little, it's actually a very nice little box as well. Uh, in the box with the pen, um, the converter and the ink, retails in Australia at full Australian price, so not sale price because I've actually seen it cheaper, but at full Australian price for $64.95, which when you think that a Lamy Safari on its own costs 55 Australian dollars, I think this is a nice deal. It's a tiny bit more expensive than a Safari, uh, but, and it doesn't have something like the interchangeability of um, you know, the nibs and the, convert the cartridges are a little harder to come by, but I think it's a good pen at the price. I think it's a really great pen uh, for kids. I like that. Um, I like the fact that a couple of these designs have, uh, you know, things on it that, and, you know, some of the brighter colours on the compass are very kid-friendly. But some of the more uh, muted colours or adult colours would actually make this pen a really interesting everyday writer. There is nothing to say you couldn't write with this pen day in, day out at work. And at this price, if you lost it, if you broke it, it would be a loss for sure, but not devastating like breaking or losing a Pro Gear at roughly what five times the price four times the price um so yeah it's i think it's a really nice entry-level pen a little detail that i really like is the fact that the converter matches well it matches it's blue converter with a blue ink and when you get the compass you can get like the lime green compass is a lime green converter and that kind of thing i think that's a really nice touch so overall i think this is a really great package i think the set is a really great set um i think coming with a pen and an ink like this uh, makes it a really attractive gift option, uh, particularly if you're trying to convert someone into the pen world, particularly someone on the younger side or um, just someone who, you know, is young at heart. Um, so yeah, Sailor Prophet Junior, keep it in mind if uh, you're looking for a, a way into Sailor and you just, like a lot of us, these more expensive Sailor pens are something you really, you know, have to think about down the line. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Please like and subscribe, hit the notifications button. Get in touch using the platforms listed below. Uh, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there is a way you would like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.